Okay, this is part two of the fuzzy select tool. So we're just about to see what happens when we do other layers now. Okay. So we have a green and a red. This is identical to this one here. And then this one is the same except for it's green and not red. Okay. So as you can see here, we're dealing with three layers in this image right now. Okay. We have our background that we can see with the blue. And then we have this green circle layer and the red circle layer, the additional red circle. So let's go ahead and do just like we've been doing. We'll, we're on this uh, background layer right here. And we'll go and select an area. And as you can see, it does not recognize these other circles because they are on a different layer. Okay. Let's go back and we'll select this sample merged. Okay. And we're still on our background layer. We'll click and we'll do the exact same thing. But this time, as you can see, with that sample merged, selected, it recognizes all the layers in the image right now. Okay? So what happens when we do a clear? It recognizes everything just like it says. It did not go into this circle, this one, this one, this one, and it didn't go into this up here either. Also take note that on this here, it did not go into the blue on any of these just like before because there's no continuous way in. Okay. So let's take a look at the feathered edges. Okay. Now when we're dealing with fe feather edges and multiple layers, what happens then? And we'll do a clear. Okay. Well, as we can see here, this red box, or this red circle, has the nice feathered edges and the blue ring around it on the outside. But this one, it's an identical circle to this one over here, but it did not feather those edges. Or did it? Well, it kind of did. Because if we take a look, see underneath? It was feathering those edges. But it didn't feather them on this. That's because when it selected that circle around it with the fuzzy select tool, with being on multiple layers, it's telling it not to affect anything 
in the image in that circle area right there okay it took into account that this image is here but it didn't feather them if it's on a different layer but on the same layer it will feather those edges okay so it's only feathering the edges on the actual layer you were on so when you're on sample merged it does recognize that this was not in the value of that of your threshold but it does not recognize to feather the edges with the other layers but it will on the layer that you were on and were originally working on it does know to feather those edges and it will bring those out with that 100 radius okay So, we have one more to look at, transparent areas, transparent areas. So we'll go here, and we're still on our background. We've already been doing this, and there's no effect, no changes there. So let's go to a different layer and see what happens. So let's go on to this green layer. All of a sudden, we cannot make a selection. So we'll go to transparent areas and select that. Since we are working on a transparent area, and as you can see, it will select now. It selects that. Because we were on a transparent area. Okay. Here, we don't have it selected. So it does not work on a transparent area. But it will work on a non-transparent area, okay? So what happens when we're on a layer like this, like we were just on, what we do is sample merged. Once again, it does recognize the whole image. And we were able to click on a transparent area to do that. Okay. Well, let's do that once more. We'll do a clear. Okay, it did not clear out the background because it wants to only clear out the layer where you're on. So you, you have everything selected here. So you can go back to this background because everything's selected. And you can do a clear now. Okay. Talk about just a couple more things if we have time. Let me check our time.
I think I'll go ahead and end this, and maybe we'll talk about some other things on a different video. Okay, I hope this uh, helped to get you introduced to the Fuzzy Select Tool slash Magic Wand, and hope you enjoy it. As you saw, it's an easy tool to use straight out of the box. You just go and click, and it gives you a selected area. At the same time, with all of these other modes that are available to select from, it makes it a very powerful tool. Okay. Hope this was informative for you and helped you to learn more about the Fuzzy Select tool.